So today is kind of a relaxed day. Um, we're I'm not starting till about one o'clock. I guess going four days strong, just going, 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 finally wore me out a little bit. But we're hoping to at least get to two places today. The first one is the Museum Capitolini, and then hopefully the Pantheon. I was only able to make it to one place. I went to the Museum Capitolini, but it was amazing. I definitely recommend if you have extra time to check it out. They have a lot of interesting exhibits. They wouldn't actually let me film, so that's why there's only a couple of snapshots in there. Also, I figured I'd also mention a little bit of Sam about Sambuca, which I had with my dinner. But what I found out interesting about Sambuca, it is a digestif. Um, usually what it means is that you have it after your meal to help digest whatever you're eating. So Sambuca is also really good in coffee. The waiters, when I was telling them about it, obviously they could tell I've never had it before. So they were gracious enough to give it to me in two forms. One with an espresso with a little bit of Sambuca in it, which Sambuca has sort of a, it's with anise flavor, so it kind of has a licorice taste, which is good because it kind of cuts the bitterness in the espresso. The other way you saw is Sambuca with flies. And by flies, they mean coffee beans. And again, you get more of that licorice flavor in it. And it was a really fun experience. Also, fun fact that I learned is that sometimes you'll see it either with three beans or seven beans. If it's seven beans, usually that represents the seven islands of Rome. However, if you see three beans, it's supposed to represent health, happiness, and prosperity. So hopefully I'll have that in the future. It is day seven, at least I think it is. I'm kind of losing track of time, but it is a Sunday. Uh, yesterday, we didn't get to the Pantheon, so today I'm hoping to be able to get there. We um, only have about two more days, Monday and Tuesday. However, the next few days are gonna be jam-packed with some pretty exciting stuff. So today is gonna be more of a take it easy day. And like I said, hopefully we'll be able to see the Pantheon. So, missed the Pantheon yesterday because I got the times wrong and didn't realize that it wasn't open as late on Sunday. However, I'm still determined to go see it. I will have today and tomorrow, so hopefully during that time at some point I'm going to be able to see the Pantheon. Now, it's about 6 something in the morning. We have to do, get an early start because we are going to go to Pompeii today.
I am officially exhausted. That was so much fun though. Honestly, it's kind of hard to choose which I liked better, Ostia Antica or Pompeii. Pompeii was fascinating just because you had all those beautiful frescoes that were still the same as they were 2,000 years ago. And um, Ostia Antica was amazing because there was a lot more preserved buildings. But I think they're both places you should definitely go see, just to, even if just to compare the two, but also see two different sides of Italy. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, because I was half asleep and my brain doesn't halfway work during the morning, but yeah, I did go to Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast, which was also a lot of fun. I never had been to Sorrento before either, and just being able to see the fun town and being able to try limoncello, it was just a lot of fun, a very enjoyable day. And now I am ready to go lay down and pass out probably for the rest of the day, because I am exhausted. Today is my last day in Rome. It's kind of sad that it's coming to an end because you know, it's been fun. I've been really enjoying this. So today, I am finally getting to the Pantheon. No matter what, I am definitely seeing this before we leave. And also, I'm gonna take one more day trip to be able to explore Tivoli, which is nearby, and be able to see the Hadrian's Villa and the Villa de Este. It was just so amazing going to both of them because they were so completely different. I especially loved at Villa de Este the waterfalls. Those were just gorgeous. I would love to hang out around those all day. And then just walking among the ruins of the Hadrian's Villa was just an incredible experience. Definitely recommend if you have the time, Rome. So now I'm probably just gonna hang out around the room because tomorrow I have about an 11 hour flight back to the States and I need to probably just rest up for it. However, if I do go out again, I will film, but just in case I don't, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of Italy. So I changed my mind. I decided to go out one more time. We're gonna go see the fountains of the four rivers. So wish us luck, we're just navigating blind right now. We did it, we found it. 
I am so proud of myself right now because I had no idea what I was doing and we actually found it. We found the fountain of the Four Rivers. So it actually is really pretty. They said to come around like 8 o'clock-ish at night because they light it up and there's not as many crowds. And they were right, it is gorgeous. This is a great way to end my LA trip.